Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. One pizza, too many cooking and unboxing videos. And today I'm so excited. I've got my new Skillcraft pizza oven, the wood fired oven that you will have seen me collecting in the Skillcraft factory tour video I did a couple of weeks ago. Check it out if you want to see how these things are made. What a place to go and visit. And again, thanks to Dave and Lisa for that day. It was fantastic. I've got my pizza oven out of the Land Rover with great difficulty. It's taken three of us to get it through the house into the back garden using a truck, a little uh, Black & Decker truck to get it through, um, but we made it. We have got to this point. So we're gonna get it unboxed and we're gonna see if it'll fit on my workbench here. So this is a solid concrete top, tiled, It'll take the weight, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all fit. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you are subscribing to the channel and obviously hitting that notifications bell when I release a new video. And make sure you are smashing that thumbs up and giving me all the love. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're putting a comment and saying hello as well. And I'll be sure to comment back. Now, let's get this unboxed and opened. Right, I've got my little knife. I'm going to run around and just take all the pallet wrap off the bottom where it joins. Nice and easy. Now you've seen how this was wrapped up on the Skillcraft Factory Tour video. Really well packaged. So hopefully I can pick this up in one go and reveal the pizza oven. So you'll see it's got a nice temperature gauge on the front and we've got the newer modern Vulcan laser cut plate on the front. We've got the door which has a coating which will peel off. Then inside, let's have a look, we have the heavy duty log guard which I managed to get out of Dave whilst I was on the tour. Alongside the stainless steel one. So we are going to do a versus video of those log guards. I've then got this large Tuscan grill. This is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to use this. And again, we're going to do a video introducing these Tuscan grills and how to cook on them. And they've also put us in a little pizza peel as well. And then you'll see the stone base, his four large stone bases. I'll get a little tape measure while we're here. Let's have a look. So the cooking area is 73 and a half centimeters from back to front and width. is 92 centimeters so it's a massive cooking area absolutely huge easily get three pizzas in here along with the fire <clears throat> now as you can see I've gone for the anti copper cover and like Dave said in the uh, Skillcraft tour video if you get bored of the colour, you can order a new new top and you can change the colour to whatever colour you want on a RAL colour chart, which I think is a really good idea. So no doubt in the future I might be uh, upgrading the uh, cover to a different colour just for fun, show you how to do it. Um, it's dead easy, dead easy. Um, right, a couple of things to note. There's some peelable bits on the top. This is where the flue goes. Um, so peel all that off and also on the back you'll see in the picture next to me there is basically manufacturing stainless steel on the back and obviously you need to remove all that before you can do anything before you can cook with it 
and the same again to finish round the flue just picking off all of the uh, the protective coating before you light it I have assembled a crack team of pizza <laughs> and the lapping right of pizza oven lifters that's what I'm going to call them yeah some don't want some want to be on some don't want to be on um, however this is the three to four mile lift it's well heavy so I'm going to speed this bit up but we're going to get it this on from there onto there let's go Wow, that was heavy. And I've got to say, considering I built this concrete worktop, what, probably two years ago now, it just fits the legs. I've got a slight hangover here, but it all fits. So I have peeled off all the plastic off the door. Now, one thing I would say, if you've got one of these, is be careful when you're taking the plastic off, because obviously, everything's done in a factory there were some real sharp burrs along the edge of this so what I'm going to do is just run a file along the edge just to clean that edge up because um, it is really really sharp so just be careful if you have got one so those of you that are interested in the size so the height of the oven from the bench is 52 and a half centimeters the length back to front is 95 and a half centimeters and the width across is 105 centimeters so this is a big oven loads of space for cooking not just pizza meats fish veggies everything is going to get cooked in this bad boy and i've also taken off along the front all the plastic to reveal the vulcan logo then we have the flu so we've got single wall flu which goes into the oven really really secure i mean it's really good and then i've got an extra piece and the cowl now this is going to go up through my plastic roof and um, Dave has kindly supplied me with some twin wall flue which is on its way so the flue the twin wall flue the adapter an extra collar and the rain cowl for the twin wall flue has now arrived now I'm not gonna to lie to you um, it has taken quite a while not Dave's fault at Skillcraft and um, but the supplies of the twin wall um, so that's why it's taken so long to get this video out um, since I basically got this from Skillcraft so um, I'll talk you through what's in the boxes so we have here a single wall to twin wall flue adapter so this will go onto here it's quite a tight fit um, and then the twin wall onto onto there now I am going to cut this flute pipe down because I only want the twin wall sticking out 50 centimeters out of the roof um, and also I'm going to spin it round or I'm going to chop this end off because I don't like the look of that end together and I know people go oh well that's the way it's meant to go so yeah it is but I'm basically going to put it on that way it's still a nice tight fit and I've got some um, heat proof silicon from screw fix I'll show you that in a minute um, which is resistant up to a thousand degrees I'm gonna put a bead of that on here first and then put that on because that way the cut end will be in the oven so you won't see it and it, it just it just looks better overall Now 
Then we have the leather twin wall. I was about to say, I hope it's not damaged. And straight away, I can see that it is. So, you'll see just there, there's a nice ding. Luckily, it's only the outer shell. Um, and I'll be able to bend that back with a pair of pliers um, and this has kind of been the issue with the twin wall itself is getting getting it delivered without big damages and um, there is another a spring collar there to snap it back and then you can tighten it with an allen key as well so the reason I've got this is obviously going through a plastic roof I need something that's insulated so I'm not gonna burn the roof. Then like I said we've got another another clamping band. And we have the rain cow. And again when I took this out of the box originally this was almost as flat as a pancake pushed over but um we've managed to straighten it up a bit um, and it'll do the job just fine I need two ones slides on like that and then uh, this extra band just goes around to clamp it all together so it don't blow off and then finally we have these plates that Dave gave me with the oven. Now these are designed, if you've got a roof, you put one on the bottom, one on the top so it overlaps slightly so the rain runs off. You seal this on, screw it on through the holes, seal around it and that gives you your waterproof edging like so. And as you can see it gives a nice seal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this out with a marker for the twin wall flue and I'm going to cut these out to fit. Then um, I'm going to mark the roof where it's the flue would go. I'm going to masking tape it up, mark it off, I'm going to cut it out and then we're going to get it fit. Right so I've marked up the flue where I want to cut and I've also marked up these plates for the roof basically cut where that black line is so that's what I'm going to do now one hole. Right so metal plates I've cut down to fit and I've used the jigsaw to cut them out and then I've just used the grinder just to neaten off the edges. Um, I have managed to use carefully use some pliers to get the, the dint out of the twin wall um, and next we've got the adapter to the single wall. So what I'm going to do, I've got this, it says 1200 degrees celsius flexible sealant and it's fireproof, it's from Screwfix, um, it's called Mappy Flex um, Fire Stop. It's, it's about £10 to buy so it's not, not cheap stuff but you know what, this project overall isn't that cheap to start with, is it? So I'm just putting it around the edge.
just to so it kind of spreads and makes a seal. You don't really need to do this, this is just a, an extra really. Okay. I've got the cut end that's going to stay in the oven. And this end, so I'm going to just match the grit where the manufacturing mark where it's seamed to the seam at this side so it's all looks good. Right, so that's just setting. I've got the cowl, I've managed to feed it through the hole that I've cut in the roof to save me going on top for now, um, until I've got some more support beams back in place. So I'll have to take one out because it ran straight in front of the where the flue was gonna go up. So I'm gonna try and put this main pipe onto the top. We have got um, a steel band. Um, oops. that's always the way that just clips on that just clips round and locks it and you can adjust it as well with the number five hex key. It is warm under this plastic. So the next I'm gonna try and lift this up, hang it off to fit this into the pizza oven to then drop this back down onto here, fingers crossed. And you do, you will see where I've straightened that dint out a little bit, you can just see it a little bit but apart from that it doesn't matter too much. Then I'm going to put the locking band on. Up with the Allen key just to make it really strong. The flue on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the the caps around it, or the plates, from underneath to start with. I'm going to put the beams back in, then I can go up on the roof, I can put the plates up on the roof, and I can then seal around it. So I'll get that done, and then we'll get it lit. Wow, it's, uh, it's taken the best part of uh, five hours to get all this cut fit on probably one of the hardest days. Anyway, let's get it fired up. So I've got some birch, um, so we oak, and I've got some birch logs. Now these again, Dave gave me these um, when I picked the oven up, and these are the Glow Baltic um, birch logs you can buy from them. Uh, I think they're about 20 quid for a box of 18, so not cheap, so we'll see how they burn. Should be a nice clean hot burn. Got my my two stacks. So what I'm going to do is, I've got no woolly fire lighters because ideally that's what you want to use. But another way, get some paper and a bit of veg oil on the paper. Then just kind of scrunch that up. And then what I'm going to do. Put that in the middle of the of the stack. I'm going to do the same again with this pile. So, if you've watched the um, Vesta unboxing video um, of delicious coffees, 
peach oven, you'll notice that we only did one stack. When we lit that, um, however, because it's a bigger oven, we need obviously more wood to get it going. Then a couple of matches. What I'm going to do, we're going to just put two of these in just to warm up. Just get them nice and toasty and warm, ready. Before we're going to put them on these, or we're going to knock these piles over. I'm going to put the, the wood on. So I thought for the purpose of the video I'm just going to put the door back on just to see if it does draw and get it get it going and if you remember at the start of the video I said this was a bit sharp on this edge while I had the grinder out cutting the flue pipe um, I've just ground the edge and I've also just rounded off the corner on each end. So I'm just going to put the door on and see how we get on. Let's take the door off and then we can uh, give it a, a little look. Burning nicely. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to knock these over now and we're going to get the other logs on to really get it going. There we go, I've got three in. I have noticed as well, there is quite a lot of smoke still coming out the front um, compared to drawing. It might be because of where it's located, but then there is still a lot going up, up and out as well. So, quick check of the temperatures. Right in the middle. 650 so the stone just in front is 328 stone at the side is 243 and the other side is 230 so real nice um, a stone temperature for the base of your pizzas or your food. So that's it everyone, as you can see the Skillcraft Vulcan oven is an absolute monster and I cannot wait to get cooking on this so if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and the rest is history. You can tune in next video hopefully a bit of cooking done and on that point hand on top it's warm, but when you think how hot that fire is in there, it's amazing. It's really cool at the back as well. Anyway, um, until next time everyone, I'll see you all very soon. One pizza too many.